that's a very good way to get an easy pick against like the Scordy or Hatchiman. But I'm standing this far, they cannot hear me ulting and charging at all, so there's Hachi. And that's what I was talking about. What is up beautiful people, it's Odin here, welcome back to my channel, we're playing Mercury in the jungle, it's Rain Conquest Masters Ranked, we're playing here accompanied by what well, looks like a high melody mid, Mercury, one of the best junglers right now, my favorite jungle by far since it all started <laughs> and probably one of the most effective junglers right now in the ranked meta also the jungler that actually brought me the masters that's the one i chose to grind my jungle rolls through so pretty effective and i'm pretty sure that you're gonna see why we're playing against what looks like a discordia in mid and uh is that Odin? Yeah, that's Odin in the jungle. Okay, Let's, that game is going to be fun considering that I don't have a jump. Odin might be kind of tricky. Let's wait for Arthur a little bit. We have time, it's fine. Odin clear is not the best. He kind of lost a little bit of time, but I don't think he'll take the mids for it, so it's fine. Yeah. Not going to try to contest that, just go for the clear. He can jump me, did not hit anyone, which is nice. Oh my man, you're not gonna come here. You can't do that. I missed my dash, that's unfortunate. Gonna try and secure... Oh look, a time dollar, not paying attention. Oh, he's trying to box me, what you doing, my man? You cannot do that, I can juke you pretty easily. He is toast. And that's gonna be a first blood. I don't know what the hell this man was thinking. He, he thought he could box me like this. Especially being so way out of position against a hunter and an ADC in the jungle. That's not going to happen. So pretty good start. We're actually a little bit ahead now with this. And I'm going to try and blinker. And that <laughs> didn't quite work. I missed. It's fine. A little bit of misplay. Wasted blink. Wanted to blink and damage her killer and push for the red buff, but this way we're just better off rotating towards the red buff. Uh, towards the mid, so it's fine. And Dollar taking the XP as well, paying attention, which is nice. We're gonna rotate for the smalls and then probably our uh, speed buff. Grab the chalice on our way. Pretty simple stuff nowadays. They have Afro in the solo lane, so I need to think of how I'm gonna fit the Toxic Blade under my build. Because later on, Aphrodite is gonna be a problem. She suddenly spiked up in like the meta because they added an extra tick. Imagine being a developer of this game and not understanding how the game works to the point where like... You know, there's a frustration point in the character. She doesn't do damage if it starts. Like, let's, let's do damage when it starts. And you add a whole extra tick to the damage. Making this one of the most damaging abilities on level 1 in the game. Let's wait him up. I'm gonna back anyway, so I might as well wait him. And now we're backing for the full boots, which is pretty nice. I always opt for Teleri boots on the Mercury because with his uh, bonus power from this speed, you can actually get almost the same amount of power while still maintaining a very, very fast character. And considering Mercury has built-in passive uh, move speed, Teleri boots us very, very good on him. Looks like Odin got smacked by Heimdallr in the mid, which is nice. The dueling is out of position. We're grabbing this red buff and looking. Oh, she's looking. Let's try and punch her a little bit. She beast. Why would you beast here, girl? I assume she panicked. I missed my one. So Heimdallr is able to secure the red. We're just going to smack this a couple times and go for their red. It's not up, unfortunate. But dual lane should still be way too pushed up. Now it looks like they backed off, so we're gonna go for oracles here. They seem to be doing the big harpy. That's a really stupid thing to do. This harpy sucks. They're doing the other big harpy, we're gonna ult in now. 
Worked out pretty well. This is beats. Oh, what the hell? I did miss that. Well, it's fine. What is happening? That's was it was that an upgraded shell? Odin with the ult? I think I'm gonna die here, maybe not. No, it seems that he kinda hit his shit, so they're actually in trouble now. Soul joined us. We can kill. I just need to space myself out properly. Let's bop him. Bop. Bob the man. Good stuff. We're gonna sustain ourselves back through this. Oh, Discordia is here. I need to back off here. He backed. Blinking through. Did not hit that. We're gonna just simply back off. That's enough. That was intense. And it worked out pretty good for us. So it's fine. So we're now officially to ahead. We have 2k of gold. We have some experience. We're 5 and 0 in kills. I have pretty good control over the jungle. I'm not sure what this Odin is doing, but we're two levels ahead on him. Looks pretty great. It's ranked, so we're pretty much tryharding, doing the best we can, so... Not gonna wait for Arthur this time, he's way too deep. And I've been waiting for him every time. Let's see, can I kill her? I'm not sure that she has a worse here. Boom. Oh, the girl was just standing there, probably didn't even see me. Not gonna leech off this wave, not gonna proxy, just gonna back off and go for the mid. There's a fight there. Fafnir just jumped. I can open that. At least force his ult. Yep, that's it. And he jumps off, which is understandable. His first ult is very short. Let's look at the speed buff. Not here. I guess nothing to do here, and I came back for full soul cutting. 6-0, we were almost the 100% of our kills just now. Ooh, back us fed. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. I guess he overstayed. Looks like Odin is coming this way. What you doing, my man? Where's your mana? You're dead. Is he gonna run away? I think he's gonna run away, but I'm faster. <laughs> you can run away like that. Let's smack her a little bit. She should die if he doesn't choke. He didn't choke. That's nice. Heimdall is doing a great job. I mean, Heimdall is broken as shit, so... He got nerfed in his vision, but he's still pretty much broken and actually works better in the mid now than in dual lane. My speed's coming up, so we're rotating towards that. That's pretty understandable. Gonna make our jungle rotation. Soul got smacked. Was not paying attention, but it looks like two people are there, so she was too deep. Blue buff came up. I, I want to drop that before I invade hers. Looks like Arthur took the blue buff from her, which is nice. He's in full control of his lane is what I like to see. We're going to ult her up. I missed. That's her ult. At least I gave, gave him enough control over the lane, so it's fine. I'm going to tank this up just to allow him to survive and kill her. Yep, that's the best I can do. Backing off here completely. Or he might come with an ult and everything. I was planning to back here because I want to go to the left side of the map. So tanking that tower, allowing him to kill her freely was the way to go. Gonna blink on that hatchet here. He panicked, but I'm pretty fast. Oh, he tried to shoot me. If I recognized that he's turning, I would have still followed him. I wish Sol also followed me a little bit, but she was way too entangled in clearing the wave. Kind of understandable. Considering how he played, we definitely had a kill there. Mm, yeah, he's out of bees and out of position. Let's pay the man a visit. Oh, hello, Odin. What you doing? Just backing off. Don't want to get caught in the ult. Fafnir's pretty poked out. We can open that. Yeah. Gets immediately spooked. Quite understandable. The Scordia just dashed, so we're looking for an ult. Definitely looking for an ult. She's not out of position, so we rotate into the speed. Big fight on the author. Three people coming this way, but not sure. Oh, I'm gonna be there. Bob both of them. Got the Afro. Probably get him as well. Is he gonna get crippled? No, he didn't get crippled, but we can still kill here. I'm pretty sure. Ooh. Sweet bejesus. The crits. 
With a 5%, holy shit. Hello, Odin, what you doing? He's trying to get murdered again. That's all of his shield with one crit. That, that was nasty. Oh, the back is secures. This goes pretty well for us. I'm not gonna lie. And the lucky crits with 5%. I can get on board with that, but like I do understand that it's totally luck based. I'm not supposed to create as lucky as I do <laughs> with 5%. Yes. No. Out of mana. Don't take your eyes off. Enemy missing. Yes. So it looks like they're looking at a pyro, maybe looking at the Arthur, we're gonna just rotate towards here. What is he doing? Did he just... I cannot blink through the goddamn wall. Oh man, that was a big misplay. Can I open her? I can kill some of here. She still has an ult, huh? The back of secures are in point. Damn it, wasn't able to get them. I got bamboozled by the new blink because I couldn't blink through the wall. Just imagine playing for seven years with the same distance on the blink and then they fix it for no fucking reason whatsoever. That's what happened there. Grabbing our speed buff looks like Heimgladiator got caught by Odin, but Sol is here to counter secure it. We got a return kill and we got to go for the gold fury. I have a sentry. And they don't have positioning to actually respond to that. I have crits, so this should be pretty fast. Yeah. Hachi was looking, but way too late. Gonna grab this wave. Looking at the red buff here, there's three people with the Arthur. Hopefully he will survive this, or at least murder somebody in return. I'm way too far to do anything about it, but we need to look for the Pyromancer secure. What you doing, girl? Ah, I didn't hit her. Still grabbed her, and I'm not even in tower range. That's very unfortunate that I missed that one, but still, I got her old, I got her beats. Oh, look at this man, he's annoying. Am I gonna die here? Yeah, I'm dead. Okay, fine. Still keeps going, so we're gonna try and join that, maybe swing by our speed buff to secure. Let's see if I can push up. There's probably warded here in the choke point. Mm-hmm, it is. He jumped out. He cannot run away, so we're gonna grab him here. I'm pretty fast. He can't just... Nothing you can do about it. He just overstayed. Everyone else on their team just left. I need somebody to tank the Pyromancer. I can solo it pretty fast. As long as I don't take too much damage. There's too many people here doing it. Yeah. FG should be available, but that may be tricky. We have no wards. They might have a ward in here. We need at least a sentry. But I'm gonna join that. I'm gonna take the risk. I like the call. I like the ball play. Look like Afro is not recognizing what we're doing, which means that they don't have a ward. And that's a free fire giant. Let's look for the Afro here. She's way pushed out. Not gonna even look for that. Just grab some XP from that wave and back off. I grabbed the SA instead of Bloodforge. That's my go-to item when I'm trying to solo carry the games. I understand that Bloodforge is probably a better option here in terms of the amount of power. But yeah, just Aussie just comes in a clutch so hard. The next item. Oh, hello, girl. That's your ultimate. What you're going to do now? Oh, you're going to die. I see. So like I was saying, <laughs> next item should be Toxic Blade. Because despite this Afro not good, doing a very good job, just the amount of heal she can provide in between those fights. If it gets bad and we get to the point of sieges, if they turn the game and we don't have life steal at this time, it's going to be really, really bad for us. So you're going to come prepared. Looks like the dual lane is pushing harder than the tier two. So despite them being on the wrong side of the map, I'm just going to push this down because that's how you should be going from right to left and then push the most effective Phoenix, the further one from the Titan, to secure the next Fire Giant buff. 
Uh, the further one from the fire giant, not the titan. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So I'm pushing the tier 2 in mid, like I said, uh, despite my team, like, like this is why I build Asi instead of Bloodforge, just I don't really trust this team and I'm doing most of the work myself. In juking, he doesn't realize that I'm here and he's already in trouble. Oh yes, oh yes, I also have beads, you know, oh, you have teammates. Heimdallr should be in trouble here. I'm backing off like completely. Just gonna push this out. Yeah, two of them. And she definitely should have an ult, so I'm not gonna be trying anything here. So I got caught up and actually bought a tier 2 Deathbringer instead of the Toxic Blade. So I guess Toxic Blade is gonna be sixth item. Ulting in. We hit Discordia, but I cannot see her and it's too risky here. Oh, you're jumping into me. Are you sure about that, my friend? Okay, yes, Aphrodite here. Can you lock me down? My team is not around. Nothing good is happening, so I'm probably dead here. Ooh. I think I got out. I wish my teammates paid more attention, though. She's checking her blue buff. She sees me now. She's gonna try and chase. She doesn't realize I have a blink. Yeah. Gonna waste some more of her time. She's being stupid here. She needs to fight, uh, fight in mid. She's chasing me. Like, she can actually chase me. What the hell? I heal up a lot from this. And while she's still being stupid in the uh, solo lane, the mid Phoenix is going down. And I'm gonna drop this Gold Fury since I'm... Remember that time I had red HP and like a 10 HP? Yeah, me neither. So we're life stealing. Very good. Gulf here doesn't deal any damage to me. Uh, the siege in mid was successful even though my whole team died. We got the Phoenix. And we got the Gold Fury. The only wave will push itself out. So, good stuff. We utilize the Fire Giant buff to its maximum potential. And I am going to push this wave a little bit. To maybe, if they don't pay enough attention, have an in for the left Phoenix. Let's see. Can I ult something? here okay discordia is on the menu Ooh. the crits he just jumped that means he's dead hello fafnir what you doing oh odin being annoying again looking for me can he actually kill me nah the jump is all you have man juking him out he's trying to chase me no success just trying to stay alive. Arthur and Bacchus are here. I'm gonna kill him as soon as he jumps. We can join in now. He got his beats. He's now running. We're gonna open this ultimate. Fire Giant's coming down, so we need a back here. Oni Wave is... Fire Minions Oni Wave is pushing through the mid if they don't pay attention to that. They gonna... Meanwhile, Sol and Heimdall here doing the Fire Giant. The enemy team obviously is not paying attention, probably don't have wards. And that's an FG. Bacchus is probably gonna die there. I see. What a good man, he actually got out. Apologies. That's really nice. That. Looks like the best option here is to push the solo lane and get the right Phoenix, because my whole team is here. What you doing? Jumping? Oh, that's his blink. The panic blink. Hachi just dashed. If he walks in here, I'm gonna pop him. Hmm. Did he see me? I think he saw me. Or maybe he heard me. Let's see. Can we still do stuff? Nobody's out of position. I'm looking. Oh, there's a dash. There's the Scordia. There's another dash. That's her ult. Four people still cannot kill three people, which is unfortunate because I'm fighting against two in mid. Just keeping them engaged. Hachiman is out of position. I can kill this. Just walk up to him. Ooh, and he disappears. Into the wall. 
That's his ult, but that's not gonna help him. Yeah, it's very easy to time the Fafnir ult when he's literally one hit. So, Odin is doing some dumb ass shit, so we're taking the Titan. It's free. Mm hmm. Back as is right, we need to push out. Arthur does not really have enough objective damage, so we need to push out. Just gonna strip their jungle and back away. We're still tanky ahead and quite significantly in terms of experience, so not much lost here. The mid Phoenix is probably gonna respawn soon, so they're gonna get all the damage on the Titan back and pretty much we're at the square one again, but it's fine. We're still very much ahead. Need to secure my speed buff and bu uh, back for the Toxic Blade. At this point, the Aphrodite will stop being a problem. My soul is beyond repair. They have a war in the Gold Fury. Nobody around, nobody to kill. I'm kind of out of position, not near anyone on my team, but I want to take that Gold Fury ASAP. Or at least force the rotation from the enemy team. That's the fight. They're taking it. With the DB and Rage fully stacked, I can drop this thing almost instantly. Yeah, <laughs> they, they did recognize the rotation, but nothing they can do about that. With XZ and uh, Stone Cutting, I just shred this thing way too fast. Back is out of position, but he's tanky enough to survive. Four people on left, we need to take this fight. I think it's just four, not five, so we definitely... No, there's five, okay. Discordia just dashed, so that means we're going in. I wanted that ultimate from Afro, but I also got the Discordia ult, which is nice. I was only going in and out, there was no kill potential in anyone, I was not gonna stay anyway. Backing away because they're all looking for me, because I'm making this game. That was bad. We reset. Going back in. I messed up. Need healing. Bye bye. They should have a word here. Yeah, looks like they do have a word here. What you doing, girl? I can open you up. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they're looking for me. As soon as anyone sees me, they immediately all turn. But that actually allows my team to finally do some fucking shit because they've been AFK way too long. And now look at them, all of them going down. That was not the best fight, <laughs> not optimal. But it's fine, we're still pretty much ahead and have control over the game. We even have one tier 2 standing. Actually, the tier 2 that they fought for, they still weren't able to take it. But I need to pay more attention to my positioning because they are paying attention to my positioning way too good. Looks like there's a... event happening when all of them are trying to focus me the hard they can. But, like, judging from the scoreboard, that's kind of understandable. Let's try and CC him. No, I got fucked by the Odin wall. That's very unfortunate. We lost soul for that. Discordia just dashed again. We have beats. She juked me out. It's pretty easy for her to juke that. I think I first should have ulted by now, so we need to catch her. Looks like Fafnir's disengaging. I'm gonna secure that just to make sure that we got at least some kills. Because this fight looks very, very bad. Gonna push out the wave, that's the best I can do. They're gonna go for the fire, they should go for the fire. And I'm gonna try and do something somewhere else. No, look at this bullshit, they're all looking for me instead. How salty are these boys? We're pushing the next wave as well, so at least they'll have to tank it themselves. But with Aphrodite, pretty easy for them. Let's see if I can make a dumb play, just make somebody back here. Oh, yeah, that was a dumb play, okay. But I guess that's actually what I wanted, so for somebody to rotate. I was just hoping that she would back and be in front of me. 
This is going not so good considering how big of an advantage we had. As soon as the enemy team recognized that all they need to do is shut me down, that kind of went downhill pretty fast. But we're still not losing, so we're still gonna look for more fights. Maybe I should focus more on the objectives because the fighting with these boys doesn't really work. No, we seem to have a good ultimate here. That's Aphrodite. Uh, that's Fafnir. There was somebody else I can kill. Hello. Not gonna walk into the minions here. He can explode me pretty fast if he wants. Odin just jumps. Like I said, Odin pretty insane towards me. Cannot really kill him easily because of the walls and I don't have any jumps. Besides of my blink, I guess. I can do that. Let's force something. He jumps, so he should be dead here. He has no ultimate, he has nothing. He also grabs his beats. Arthur is here to secure. I'm gonna life steal off of this thing. She cannot ignore Arthur. I can just drop it and join the fight and kill her as well. Yeah. Attack middle lane. Attack middle lane. Attack left lane. No, that's bullshit. I'm gonna take the Phoenix instead. I had enough of these fire giants, like, they don't really do anything for us, I might as well push up. Nope, Fafnir is here. Okay, so we need to back off here. With the Fafnir, I don't think I can really safely push. He's able to clear the wave pretty good. They should be able to take fire without me nonetheless, so it's fine. There's a fire giant, there's my speed buff. Hopefully they wait for me, so we push up together. Be right back. Everybody back in now, so it's delayed again. Even though the Discordia is dead and we can push against four people with the fire giant buff. I guess they're taking the pyro now, so we're just waiting. Gotta make sure that this wave on the left is pushed up, so if anybody tries to clear it and gets out of position, I can jump on that. And they don't see me on the map, so... That's a very good way to get an easy pick against like the Scordy or Hachiman. But I'm standing this far, they cannot hear me ulting and charging at all, so... There's Hachi. And that's what I was talking about. Yeah, and that finally gives us an end to win this game if my team doesn't fuck up in the mid. Jugan everything he's got. Odin is also pushing up here. Looking for a blink on me or something like that. Yeah. Okay, I can just do this instead and just burn you down if you want it so badly. Fafnir also gets it. So my team recognizes that we can push left instead of pushing mid. I would rather them push mid, so I'm just gonna do that instead. Titan. They're going for the Titan, but I don't trust them, so I'm gonna drop this middle Phoenix first. Yeah, like I said, Soul is already dead. With two Phoenixes, we can pretty much secure the game later on, but we get a lot more control now. I'm delirious. Smacking Aphrodite, but dying for it. That was totally not worth it. Gonna strip up some of their jungle. I'm kind of full built and don't really have any reason for gold here. But I want to catch this wave. And start pushing up the right Phoenix. When my team responds, we will be able to push it up. In case you're wondering why I opted for the uh, defensive 3k pot, it's because I really kill people way too fast and I don't really care about having more damage. The, the trouble that I have is delivering that damage, so extra D here in the late game kind of helps a lot. Discordia was out of position. If she shows herself on the map again, I'm gonna go. Hachi is kind of doing the thing that got him killed last time, but I'm way too far from there. 
Odin out of position, I can at least get like an ult or beads or something. Yep, that's an ult. His jumps do nothing to me, so it's fine. I have beads for a stun. He's completely caught out. Yep, he burned everything. And I'm gonna lifesteal with Nasi pretty fast here. Yep, we're full HP. Odin's dead. That's what exactly what I was looking for. Looking for Discordia or Hachi to show himself on the back line and go in there immediately. Did not juke my ultimate here. What a player. Discordia looked like she might have been DC'd, but nobody cares about that. That's ranked, and it's we're pushing the last Phoenix, so not my problem. She burns everything, but I'm going for Hachi here. Getting his bees and killing him instead. Aphrodite did survive, but Hachi is way more dangerous for me. Yeah, the Titan is getting pushed up. We can secure it pretty easily. And that'll be game. Finally. 19, 4, and 9. 20, 28 kills participation out of 39, which is way, way, way over 50%. Pretty much optimal. And overall, a decent game. So in terms of builds, uh, we're going for stone cutting. Uh, a lot of people opt for golden uh, blade here, but I don't really do that way too often. I feel like, like the, the clear is not a problem with the Mercury. Yeah, he has a little bit of a problem clearing early game, but later on with the crit, it doesn't really matter. So stone cut, but stone cutting allows you to box so much better and also provides you some physical D, which is nice. Uh, rage is something that you have to pick up immediately. Also, we had Telaria boots for the reasons I have already explained during the gameplay. Rage is pretty much a core item for Mercury. You want that crit, you want it fast, you want a lot of it. Even though it doesn't provide a lot of power, but just the amount of crit chance it gives, uh, not something you can ignore. I'm opting Assy. You can also opt for Bloodforge here as a lifesteal option. It's just really important if you want to carry uh, with the Mercury and build him hyper, you just build with the lifesteal no matter what. And I want more lifesteal and also clutch lifesteal when I'm low on HP, so Assy is my weapon of choice. Also, I like to box without my two active, so. Asi providing that attack speed is also something that I like. Deathbringer obviously to round, uh, round up that crit chance and also provide some power and amplify my crits. It's getting nerfed almost every season for a reason, so it's a very, very powerful item that you should pick up if you're going crit build. Uh, Executioner because I want some pen. Uh, I don't think stone cutting was uh, providing me enough to open up uh, Odin and Fafnir. Uh, Fafnir obviously building a lot of D, but Odin also building hybrid and Aphrodite being very fucking annoying. Also building like with a lot of D, so she actually has double physical defense, so executioner here is pretty vital. Despite attack speed being not a good thing to build on the Mercury, you kind of need that toxic blade because Brawler Beast kind of sucks considering what kind of skills you have, you kind of apply it effectively. So the Toxic Blade is the only anti-heal option for the Mercury and c considering that we're in a healer's meta you just have to build it despite it giving an insane amount of attack speed uh, that you don't really need. I'm almost maxed out on the attack speed which makes my 2 almost ineffective which is unfortunate but it's something you gotta do. And in terms of damage uh, we're obviously top on the field. No we're not top on the field. We're actually behind the Odin who might have thought. The man didn't even exhaust his free ward, but he has 2k more damage than I did. That's kind of insane. Uh, in terms of structure damage, I'm uh, right behind the Heimdaller and Soul because I was more split pushing, but I still managed to rack up a significant number in the structure. In terms of uh, comparatively damage, I'm, well, basically the same amount as the Odin. Actually, Odin did a pretty decent job. It didn't really look that way at all. Uh, mid laners comparatively, um, I'm the leader almost the same amount as the enemy Discordia, just a little bit ahead, but he warded two and she warded an insane 16. That's seven words more than I did, that's insane. Very good job in terms of warding by Discordia and also their hunter and even their soul laner. Poor job by their support, although he put down just seven, that's, that's kind of bad. Odin and our Heimdall leader are just trashed here in terms of warding, which kind of is a big, big indicator of the level of play for me. And supports, in terms of damage, pretty much same stuff. Uh, ADCs, 
our ADC out damage the enemy ADC by a little bit, nothing significant, but outwards him by twice the amount. Uh, mid laners, but she kind of outwards him by eight times the amount, <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, solo laners, uh, same damage, uh, very close in terms of warding, in terms of basically everything, but she also provided 10k of healing, uh, which if you add to the damage, she completely crushed him. But overall, very decent game. Uh, Mercury is my go-to jungler right now, my top pick for this season in the jungle. He's just so versatile, able to turn games, you're able to solo carry with him. He's a hyper carry if it gets too late. He's very decent and has a pretty decent CC in the early and mid game to provide the setup for the team. You can do a lot of fancy stuff with his ultimate if you use it correctly, so definitely my favorite jungler this season. And the one I used to grind for the masters, so highly recommend. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell. It helps me immensely. And the YouTube algorithm to show my content to other people. Which is also appreciated. Like, leave a like on the video if you like the video. Obviously. <laughs> leave a comment if you want to ask me a question. And respond to every single comment on my channel. And as always, hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.